Hmm. Hey guys, we're just chilling at the fruit festival. Super chill day here on the beach, hanging at the lake, soaking in the sun, eating some amazing food. And uh, I'm sitting here with the man who brought me into the raw food game. I uh, stumbled across one of his videos on YouTube two and a half years ago now, actually almost three years ago. I'm like, hmm, what is this juicing thing? There's this guy just standing at his trailer doing crazy juice recipes and having a great time. Looks super healthy and happy. Yeah, maybe I'll give this a try. And I, I bought a juicer and did a 10 day juice fast and I, whoa, the light, light came on, huh? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, whoa, I feel amazing. I've never felt like this. I have mental clarity. I have no grogginess in the morning. I don't when I work out I didn't have uh, much recovery time and I, I'm like wow this uh, there's got to be something to this and uh, I have you to thank for it Dan I really appreciate it I'm sure you ha sure a lot of people tell you this but it's uh, it's the truth you just putting out those videos every day really helps appreciate it my pleasure yeah um, all you have to do is start adding those raw foods into your life very slowly and you'll see see changes happen and you know it'll raise your vibration I think you, it'll be easier for you to be a more stably emotion person and yeah you can if you have disease conditions of any sort you can easily see them melt away I think pretty quickly when you transform or when you start adding these foods in um, I mean you talk about it all the time there's energy in food right uh, there is energy in food. There is also foods out there in generally that seems to be what the biggest problem is, is foods that take away too much energy from your body yeah. to move them through there that are very heavy, dense, processed, and chemicalized food. Yeah. You have to be conscious of that. I mean, it's, you have to really empower yourself in today's age. You can't, you can't depend on the food in the supermarket to be healthy for you. It's just uh, not like it was 50 or 100 years ago where most of the food was unprocessed and pretty easily digestible. Now there's a lot of things you have to watch out for and uh, yeah, the foods of civilization. Yeah, <laughs> See, eat simply. Dan's having a bowl of grapes for lunch. That will energize you, keep you going through your day. That's really all you need. I think in one of your talks the other day you, you said something really important, like you can really eat less than you think you need to. I, th I think you said the m most important thing is to, how did you word it, like always be a little bit hungry or something oh, like that? Oh yeah, that yeah. was at the uh, Eating for Enlightenment, yeah. yeah. To always be a little bit hungry. Yeah, yeah that way that everything stays digesting. If you pack it up too much, it can't digest everything and then all, that's when the metabolic debris starts stacking up in your GI tract, stomach, liver, kidneys. Yeah. And you don't want to be clogged up. You want to be able to go for a bike ride, go for a run, get out and do stuff. I mean, that's one, I always quote Dan with this, when I say that health is a bicycle wheel. There's many, many spokes, and maybe food is a few of those spokes, but you need to be active, you need to be getting good sleep, getting fresh air, getting clean water. All of those things are important and if you become conscious of these things which I'm hoping to help you guys with then then it becomes about self-love because when you know something is bad for you once you eat that food you're doing it for some sort of mm -hmm. self-loathing reason which is just love yourself you're good enough you really are that's what it boils down to so thanks Dan I really appreciate I'm you. A little sticky, bro. It's okay. <laughs> Dragon fruit and the grapes. Yeah, just thanks for being you and being vulnerable on camera. I think a lot of the people in the raw food game do good by posting recipes and all that stuff, but I've stuck with you, I think, just because you there are ups and downs, and you really kind of uh, show what's going on in your life pretty clearly, and that's, uh, you know, people... That's what people really want, in my opinion, is just someone someone like them that they can follow their journey and see maybe some good steps on how to do things and just the daily inspiration especially for people coming out of these disease conditions you know they're so they're so conditioned to eat this way their whole life it's hard to just go from this to that so yeah exactly just, just the daily video be like yep you're still good enough i still love you 
can still go drink a green juice even if you had a cheeseburger last night. That's it. It's really simple. Beautiful. So, thanks guys for watching. I uh, Stick with it. Drink a green juice. Go grab some fruit at the market and uh, yeah, just do your best. It's all good. Self -love. Have fun. Go out and have fun. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks, guys.